Assalamu alaikum Samir Soge with you in this video I'll show you how to use a do it motor shield with a BYJ 48 stepper motor uh, recently I had automated my windows blind using ESP 8266 and BYJ 48 stepper motor uh, during that I experimented a lot with the BYJ 48 stepper motor I had used it in unipolar mode bipolar mode with a 5 volts motor with 12 volts motor so I thought of making this video of uh, how to use it with a duet motor shield. The BYJ48 stepper motor comes with a ULN 2003 driver and the BYJ48 itself is a unipolar motor. The duet shield comes with a L293DD stepper motor driver and it is a bipolar driver. Now you would say why would I want to use a bipolar driver with a unipolar motor. The reason is that I wanted to use the BYJ48 in bipolar mode so as to double the torque which the motor can provide. Uh, keep on watching and I'll show you how we can convert the motor from unipolar mode to bipolar mode and I'll also demo it. Thank you. So as we can see in this diagram in a unipolar motor there are supposed to be six terminals. Uh, one terminal is common between the two coils and hence uh, the total number of terminals become 5. The coils have a certain resistance due to which you can apply only a certain amount of voltage across it. So let's say your motor is rated at 5 volts. You can only apply 5 volts across one half of each coil. Since the common tap is uh, connected to 5 volts, the only other option you have uh, to connect ground to is either this or this and this or this in order for current to flow through. So let's say uh, you have connected uh, ground here and ground here. This will energize this portion of the coil. This will generate a certain amount of torque. The other thing to note is that the one half of each coil is remaining unenergized. Now the way we convert the unipolar motor to bipolar motor is you just keep this common terminal unconnected. So the resultant diagram will be like this. When we do this we can apply voltage across the entirety of this coil and, and the entirety of this coil. Uh, theoretically the resistance has doubled so you can apply double the voltage uh, keeping the current constant so let's say if this is 5 volts you can apply 10 volts here we'll be applying 9 volts as uh, 9 volts uh, you can get easily so now that we apply 9 volts here ground here 9 volts here ground here this will energize both the coils and it should produce double the amount of torque in comparison to the unipolar motor now let's see uh, how the connectivity is done. So this is the do it motor shield. This is basically meant for tracked vehicles like tanks and rovers. These vehicles have two independent motors and uh, the first two terminals are, are used to power the first motor and the second two terminal is used to power the second motor. Since we are using a stepper motor and we are using four wires the four wires will go to motor a two pins and motor b two pins uh, since we are using only four wires the fifth one is unconnected so as to make this motor into a bipolar motor the next two pins are for providing power to the motor so this is 5 volts motor and as I already said we will try to provide double the voltage so these six cells provide nearly 9 volts the next two pins are for powering the ESP8266. Since this jumper is in V in VM common, uh, we are powering the uh, ESP8266 from the motor power as well. This is the L293D uh, motor driver circuit. This is the SMD variant. Many of the pinouts of ESP8266 have been taken out over here. This is the power button for the motor. Let's connect the ESP8266 to it. Let me put the battery 
as you can see it is uh, driving the motor let's now see the code for this project in order to drive a stepper motor you require edge bridge you require one edge bridge for each coil of the stepper motor each edge bridge requires two inputs so in entirely you require four inputs the top transistors require a zero for turning on the bottom transistors require a one for turning on if we apply one over here this will turn off the top transistor and turn on the bottom one when we apply a zero over here this will turn on the top one and turn off the bottom one in this case current will flow from here through the coil back through this transistor and to ground this will energize the coil similarly the second edge bridge will work with zero here one here or one here zero here but in this shield it exposes only two inputs for the entire edge bridge so how do you control the two coils of the motor if you notice carefully you will see that this is a zero and this is one and the circuit is such that only in this case current will flow through the coil the other option is one here zero here which will cause current to flow in the other direction so when you have an option of zero here one here or one here and zero here what the circuit designers have done is uh, they have combined the two inputs and made a single input and in one of the input they have added a not gate so when you apply a one over here this will go as one to the two transistors but the opposite of this will go to these two set of transistors so if we look at the code now in one and in three of the edge bridge is controlled with d3 and d4 of the esp8266 we are using c and d instead of that in the code since this shield is used for tracked vehicles they have connected pin d1 and d2 to enable pins of the l293d which means if you provide pwdm signal to this pin you can change the speed of the vehicle since we will not be doing any of that we will be connecting enable pins to high always in these functions void 1 2 3 and 4 what we are doing is we are toggling the input on the uh, input pins of the edge bridge what this will do is this will move the shaft one step at a time so if you if you go through these sequence uh, it will move four steps so in the main loop when you call 1 2 3 4 again and again this will cause the motor to rotate counter clockwise continuously in a future video i'll try to compare the torque of the motor in various configurations because as of now i can only measure the torque by holding it with the finger and feel the difference as compared to the unipolar motor thanks for watching and do subscribe